What if I told you the food on your plate might soon be decided by an algorithm? Yes, not a farmer, not a grocer, not even a politician, but artificial intelligence. Around the world, governments are handing over control of food distribution to AI systems, and the reasons are as shocking as they are fascinating. In today's video, we're digging deep into why this shift is happening, what it means for you, and whether it's a genius innovation or a dangerous gamble. And trust me, the real story behind this is much more dystopian than anyone's talking about. Stay with us, because what we're about to uncover could change the way you see your grocery stores, your governments, and your future. Part 1. The Problem Nobody Solved For decades, governments have faced a challenge they can't seem to solve. How do you feed an exploding global population efficiently, fairly, and sustainably? Let's break that down. One in nine people globally still suffers from chronic hunger. Food waste is at an all-time high, with over 1.3 billion tons of food being discarded every year. Meanwhile, supply chains are collapsing under pressure from climate change, conflict, and inflation. Human-led systems, burdened by bureaucracy, corruption, and inefficiency, have failed to keep up. And that's where AI comes in. But what exactly can AI do that humans can't? And why are governments so eager to surrender control? Stay tuned, because we're about to unpack the hidden agenda behind this technological takeover. Part 2. The AI takeover begins. Countries like China, India, and even the United States are quietly rolling out AI-based platforms to manage everything from crop monitoring to warehouse distribution to last-mile delivery. Let's take India, for example. Their AI-driven food supply platform now processes data from hundreds of millions of citizens, predicts demand, and automatically allocates food rations based on location, income, and need. In the U.S., the Department of Agriculture is experimenting with machine learning models to predict supply chain disruptions and redirect food shipments before a shortage even hits the news. China has taken it a step further, using facial recognition and digital ID systems to regulate food access in some smart cities. You heard that right. Your face determines what and how much food you get. Sounds efficient? Maybe. But what happens when the system decides you don't qualify for food tomorrow? We'll get to that in a moment. Part 3. Why Governments Love AI There's a reason this shift is happening so fast. Governments are falling in love with AI, and here's why. Scalability. AI can process billions of data points instantly. No more outdated census reports or supply errors. Predictive power. Algorithms can anticipate food shortages, droughts, or supply chain breakdowns before they happen. Cost saving. Less need for human labor means lower operating costs. Control and yes, let's not ignore this. AI gives governments unprecedented control over food access. In short, it's a perfect storm of efficiency meets control. But there's a darker side to this convenience that no one's openly talking about. What if a system glitch labels you as oversupplied or flags your neighborhood as non-priority? What recourse would you have? Would you even know it happened? Part 4. The Risks of AI Food Control while governments hail AI as the ultimate food distribution solution, critics warn of terrifying risks. Let's talk about some of them. 1. Algorithmic Bias AI isn't neutral. It learns from data, and data often reflects existing inequalities. If a poor district historically received less food, the AI might learn to keep it that way. 2. Lack of Accountability who do you blame when an AI system denies food to a vulnerable family? The engineer, the politician, or is it just the system? 3. Privacy Invasion 
Many systems demand detailed personal data to optimize distribution, but that means governments know your income, eating habits, even medical conditions, all in the name of efficiency. 4. Hacking Threats Imagine hackers infiltrating a national AI food system. They could shut down supplies, cause mass panic, or worse, redistribute food to cause social unrest. Now, here's the kicker. What happens when this power is handed to private corporations instead of governments? That's where things go from scary to sinister. Part 5. Corporations in Control in many cases, governments are outsourcing food AI systems to private tech giants. That means companies like Google, Amazon, and Alibaba now influence how food is distributed, who gets it, and when. We're not talking about just grocery delivery. We're talking about AI systems embedded into national supply chains, funded and maintained by for-profit entities. The result? Profit motives embedded into public food distribution. Suddenly, the goal isn't just to feed people, it's to optimize efficiency, cost savings, and shareholder returns. If your right to eat depends on a tech company's quarterly report, is it even a right anymore? So, why are governments giving AI full control of food distribution? Because it's efficient, it's powerful, and most of all, it's easy to scale. But the question we should be asking isn't whether it works. It's who it really works for. Will AI finally solve world hunger? Or will it become the gatekeeper to your next meal, silently deciding who eats and who waits? That future is closer than you think. If this video opened your eyes, hit like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments, would you trust an AI to decide your meals? Or do you want humans to stay in control of food? We've got more videos coming soon on AI, power, and the future of humanity. Until then, stay curious, stay informed.